We're now ready to cast the part for Mary. Next. Hi, my name's Connie, which is so opposite from Mary. Connie. I was named after my aunt. It's such a hard-sounding name. Nothing like Mary. Mary's so sweet and soft-sounding. You're fine. Thanks for taking time to come out today and audition. So, you want to portray the role of Mary in the live nativity? Oh, it, excuse me. Just, just one second. What's up? I, well, I'm at church um, auditioning for the live nativity. The, the food is in the refrigerator. Yep, put it on the, in the microwave for four minutes on high. On high. Hi. P put your son on the phone. Hi, honey. Say, can you help Dad cook his dinner? <laughs> yep, put it in the microwave. Yep, level two for four minutes. All right, thank you. Say, put Dad back on. Okay. Hi, enjoy. <laughs> I am so sorry. My world just never stops. Totally okay. You have a lot in common with Mary. Her world didn't stop either. You're right, which makes this even more perfect. I've seen a live nativity so many times, and I just thought, why not? I can stand there and hold a baby. Heaven knows I have three. Are you ready to read some lines for Mary? She has lines? I, I, I didn't know there were lines. I mean, I've always just seen her standing, you know, lo looking longingly at Jesus. And then every once in a while, looking up at Joseph. And then she does the back and forth between Jesus to Joseph, Joseph to Jesus. See, I can do that. But reading lines? Well, it, it's Mary. I, I wouldn't even know what she sounded like. She's the I, mother of the Son of God. I assure you the lines are straight from the Bible. That makes our script. Yeah, but... What? Well, I, I read the script, or Bible. Um, see, let's see, Luke chapter 1, verse 30. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Yes, and? Well, I don't know if I've found favor with God. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, you know, as a, as... I, I can pose and look longingly at Jesus. I hear what you're saying, Connie. That's what we all should be doing this holiday and every day. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just, it's my mom. She hasn't been doing well. Just, just, can I just one second? Hello? Hi, Mom. Well, I'm right in the middle of auditioning for Mary for the live nativity for church. Yes, the Virgin Mary. Yes, I realize that, Mother. <laughs> what's, what's up? Oh, yep, no problem. No problem. Yep, I can come over right after this is done. Nope, nope, we're fine. Y your grandson made supper, so we're, we're good. Huh? Mom, you can tell me who is on Fox News when I get over, okay? Okay. Love you, too. Bye. I'm so sorry. I really just kind of botched this audition. I'll just get my things and, and go. Uh, I'll just wait. I, I think the part of Mary would be perfect for you. Just as Mary had doubts and questioned the angel saying, how can this be? I can see that you doubt too. You see, Mary was favored. That means she was gracious, caring, considerate, freely giving of her love. I think you embody that totally. Oh, wow. I mean, I don't feel those things. As a, as a wife and mother, I always just feel like I'm yelling and I'm gripey and, and just always trying to stay one step ahead of everything and always feel like I'm failing. Read Luke 1, 26 through 38. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, in, the, in the sixth month... God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. 
the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. You will be great, or he will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel. Since I am a virgin, the angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord, I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. So, what do you think? Well, the angel said, that Mary was highly favored, and I'm just me. Connie, you're his child, too. Your name is beautiful to the creator of the universe. It, it just seems impossible. But you just read that nothing is impossible for God. You'll do great, Connie. Yeah, you're right. Hey, I like how you said my name. I'm excited to play the part of me, Mary. Maybe for one night my world will... Just spin a little slower, and I'll be able to sit quietly and look longingly at Jesus. You don't have to wait. Well, a wise woman once said, May it be to me as you have said. When Connie stops to tune in to the character of Mary and uh, uh, appreciate her lines, her first reaction is, how can I play this part? Connie sees herself as too ordinary, too busy, just not quite being able to to handle all the things that come at her as hard as she tries. And so her first reaction is to say, Who, me? Who am I to play this role? I might even be a negative shadow on what this is. The journey of discipleship, the journey of faith, is a road with... uh, two very deep ditches on either side. On one side is the ditch of pride, where a person begins... ...be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. How fitting it is that you were born amongst the mess in a barn full of animals and hay in an unsafe, fallen world. No palace to shield you from the world, but a full view of humanity, from a barn, no less. As you grow, your story will become the greatest story that will be told for centuries, from one generation to the next. Nations will be divided because of your birth. Calendars will be divided in light of your birth. The world, in all its busyness, won't recognize you at first, but some will realize a Savior entered the world. You will see the hurt, the anger, the pride, every hidden shame and frailty, and yet you will still love. You will see true worship, and you will see some run to empty wells for a quick fix, and yet you will still love. When people read about you, they they won't see a king's way of life, but you will be called the king of kings. A king's crown was not bestowed on you, but you will die with a crown of thorns on your head as you give your life so that they may have an eternal one, a real life. Yes, 
you will hear the words, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Pleased I am indeed. Yes, so fitting that the Son of God is born in a manger. Amongst the mess. The world's mess. You will hear their cries and weep for them. You will hear their prayers and heal them. You will die a cruel death and rise again for them. Some will see that, though the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy, you, my son, came to give them life. Just as the prophet foretold, little one, the Lord will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, God with us.